of people, of course, will know the news and uh, many of you will not and will be surprised uh, that Piers Morgan is not here this morning. Now, Piers and I have disagreed on many things and that dynamic was one of the things that viewers loved about the programme. He is, without doubt, an outspoken, challenging, opinionated, disruptive broadcaster. He has many critics and he has many fans. You will know that I disagreed with him about Megan's interview. He himself clarified his comments about her mental health on the show yesterday. There are many voices on GMB and everyone has their say. But now Piers has decided to leave the programme. Some of you may cheer and others will boo. He has been my presenting partner, Monday to Wednesday, for more than five years. And during Brexit and the pandemic and other issues, he has been a voice for many of you and a voice that many of you have railed against. It is certainly going to be very different. But shows go on, and so on we go. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in and clicking on this video. So you guys must have already heard the news. If you haven't heard the news, then I'm going to tell you the news. Piers Morgan left Good Morning Britain. It was breaking news yesterday. He has been all over the headlines um, for a few weeks now, I swear. Like every time I put his name, there's always a story about him. But I'm going to give you guys a little bit more details on that. I did speak on it a little bit yesterday. But okay, let me be honest, I was speaking a bit out of my emotions <laughs> because um, I was very triggered yesterday. But Today I'm going to give you the news and exactly what is happening. What you just heard was Suzanne, his co-host, speaking out for the first time since he walked off. I mean, he only just walked off yesterday, but, you know, she spoke out and that's what she said. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. If you are new to my channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And if you ever wanted to support my channel furthermore, in the description is my PayPal and my Cash app. So let's just have a look at the details. So his department comes after the Ofcom confirmed that it was investigating comments Piers made about Meghan Markle following her tell-all interview with Oprah which included him saying that he didn't believe a word she said about having suicidal thoughts during her time as a senior royal. The regulator said it received more than 41,000 complaints about Piers Morgan's remarks. On the back of that, ITV were heavily criticised for running their Get Britain Talking mental health campaign, which is crazy because how can you be advocating for mental health and then you allow such comment to be aired? Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I was very triggered yesterday, so I was hella excited when I heard that he had stepped down, he had walked away, whatever, he had resigned, whatever it is that had happened, and I, I was really excited. Um, now, after I slept on it, um, do I think that he should have walked away? I, I don't know, that's not for me to say, you know, he's been doing this for six years now. I enjoyed him for the most part more than I disliked him. If I balance out the pros and cons, I have more pros than cons when it comes to um, Piers Morgan. Apparently, um, ITV wanted to release a public apology for the comment but he refused and in return he decided to just walk away that that was the best option for him of course if you guys know pride comes before the fall i can't say any more on that full stop all you had to do was just apologize but no he didn't he decided to walk away that was his own decision the good morning britain presenter suzanne says that she disagreed with piers morgan including the remarks that he made about megan she does disagree i do agree i actually liked good morning i actually liked them to, to together it's almost like the presenters that i like together are just gone suzanne said that piers who is understood to have left after a clash with itv 
the executive because he refused to apologize for casting doubts on the veracity of Meghan's comments about her thoughts of suicide had decided to leave the program and she says it is certainly going to be very different but shows go on and so we go I'm not gonna lie I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed um, that little clip of um, Alex who is just who is the weather presenter when he challenged Piers to the point where Piers walked off stage which was very interesting because Piers you know he's very good at challenging people there's a lot of topics that he has faced head on head on and that's one of the reasons why I actually liked him he wasn't afraid to say what people maybe thought but just never really said but I just thought that with Megan he just went a bit too far but were, were we too quick to gun him down I think for those who didn't like him anyway this was great but when I actually think about it I can't be that emotional that I would have wanted his whole career okay not his whole career but his career on ITV to just end like that of course he has had a lot of support and love from his celebrity friends which there's no surprise there Mrs Osborne came out and said you know I think people forget that he is paid for making comments and I think that really hit me because it was just kind of like do you know what that is true that is part of his job it's a bit like uh, uh, Katie Hopkins like she's paid to be controversial that's why she carries on that type of image because that's what brings in the money and I think they know that and sometimes maybe we take it so personal but they they're getting their checks still like they're still making their money so uh it's crazy. This is the statement that he made. He said, on Monday, I said, I didn't believe Meghan Markle in her Oprah interview. I've had time to reflect on this opinion and I still don't. If you did, okay, freedom of speech is a hill and I'm happy to die on. Thanks for all the love and hate. I'm off to spend more time with my opinions. Oh my gosh. Honestly speaking, but it is what it is, that's just who he is, I suppose. Piers is a unique individual, someone who had no fear about how people saw him or the impact possibly about what he said had on other people and I think that's one of the reasons why some people really loved him and some people didn't, a bit like Marmite in it, you either like it or you don't. Having slept on it now, I will miss him on the screen, like I will miss his opinion. I think he's very much needed um, because he does challenge <clears throat> excuse me he does challenge a lot of you know topics conversations debates that people just don't like you don't get many broadcasters or um reporters like him like everybody's so wish-wash they're too afraid to say this because of this whole cancel culture which is still powerful by the way yeah that's what I liked about him what didn't he talk about you know what didn't he shy off about but okay him saying that he didn't believe it that's his opinion isn't it it is it's just his opinion that's what I'm gonna keep telling myself but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comment section thank you so much for tuning in if you are new to my channel feel free to subscribe and hit the like button and hit your notification bell and I'll speak to you guys in my next video